you know, speaking of like the pressures that, uh, that we all feel like we face, I know as fathers, um, you know, whatever career path you've chosen, trying to provide for your family, there's always that, that balance of pressure, right. Between, um, finding success in your career versus, you know, being there, being present with your family. And I can't imagine if we feel this, you know, as a professional athlete and any other walk of life that as the president of the United States, um, that was, you know, it felt exponentially higher. And uh, I just kind of want to start there in terms of, you know, having been through eight years of your presidency and now, you know, out of office, how do you, how do you, how would you frame that experience of, of balancing all the pressures in life, knowing that you wanted to succeed at everything? Well, look, I, I mean, I think that uh, a lot of the book, it talks about the, the fact that although the White House is obviously uh, different and the presidency is uh, different, it, in a lot of ways, it's a job and the White House was where my family was living and the same kinds of uh, issues that I think we all struggle with, uh, that was part of our journey. Um, you know, I, I, I'm pretty uh, blunt in the book about the fact that a lot of times during my political career, Michelle wasn't feeling uh, the, the amount of time and stress that I had to devote to uh, what I was doing. She believed in the work, but she also felt as if, you know, uh, this was put, exposing our family to stresses and putting us out there in ways that she didn't always feel comfortable with. Um, I'm pretty honest in the book about, uh, you know, she was not wild about me running for president. Mm -hmm. And I don't blame her because we had already gone through a lot um, uh, even before I'd run for president, I'd been involved in a U.S. Senate race and, you know, I was traveling the country and missing, uh, you know, events at home and, uh, and, and the burden was on her because, uh, one difference between, uh, being a U.S. Senator running for president and let's say a, uh, all NBA basketball player right uh, is uh, uh, you still have some financial strains <laughs> when you are uh, a US senator and uh, you know you got two households and you know because I, I was going back and forth from Washington to yeah. back to Chicago and, and I described in the book I said you know look uh, the times were tight Michelle had to work still she's got two little kids so so uh, figuring that out uh, was was challenging one of the things that I write about that we were worried about was how would it be to raise kids in that kind of environment? And, mm -hmm. and I know you and Aisha are experiencing some of this just by virtue of there being your kids, they're in the limelight in some ways. And, you know, Michelle and I understood, I think kind of early on that, you know, um, that's a double edged sword. And, and, and we, we wanted them to have a normal experience of growing up and being able to make mistakes and not being scrutinized and commented on about every single thing that they did. Mm -hmm. And we also wanted to make sure suddenly, you know, we're living like normal middle-class folks. And then the next thing you know, they're butlers. And, you know, as you know, we talk about the fact that, um, you know, we had to tell the uh, the staff at the White House, look, you know, the girls have to clean their rooms. We're, we're not oh, having yeah. them clean <laughs> their rooms. Principles, uh, discipline. Yeah, they, they need to learn how to do that. Uh, yeah. and, um, and and we were worried, would they end up uh, somehow not having a sense of reality? Uh, and that part of the reason I think we were able to keep them grounded was uh, because we ourselves reminded ourselves, look, we're just here temporarily. This is a blessing. It's it's an opportunity to serve, but this is not who we are. And it helped also to have my mother-in-law. You, know, uh -huh. uh, uh, you know, anybody who knows Michelle's mom, she's like salt of the earth, no pretension, um, wouldn't put up with any kind of 
attitudes or fuss out of the out of Malia and Sasha, and and that really helped. Uh, and I, and I'm sure uh, you guys with your you know grandparents can 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 be lifesavers. Uh, they they can. They have been in our experience for sure. Absolutely. absolutely. Especially when they uh, they carry the same temperament and. Uh, perspective as, as you in terms right. of not getting too big headed. Like you have the yeah. highest, you know, office in, in the land and right. that can mean a, a lot of great things, but your kids don't have, they don't have that. <laughs> it's a, well, it's well, a, that's, that, my mother-in-law literally said that to Malia and Sasha. They were acting up one time and she looked at him and she said, you y'all do understand you haven't done nothing. <laughs> y'all are just along for the ride. <laughs> so, Real so, talk, though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, if, if you get elected president someday, maybe someday you, can, you can tell me what to do. Yeah. Tell, tell me, but not, not, not now. <laughs> Go do your homework. I know 